Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome to Smarter Every Day 2. This is the second channel here for Smarter Every Day. This is where I do like simple stuff, um, stuff that maybe doesn't warrant its own video on Smarter Every Day, the main channel, but it's really fun and I want people to know about it. So this is something I'm going to be doing during the total solar eclipse because with today's modern 4K cameras, you can basically get still images out of video. And the cool thing about having a viewfinder like this is that you can use that to frame the shot up and with a total solar eclipse, you can have it just go across the field of view if you know how to set it up. So Dr. Gordon Telepin has taught me how to do that and I recorded the whole event when he was telling me about it and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty clever method. So what I'm gonna do during the eclipse is I'm gonna set one camera up I'm going to get it aligned and just have the, the sun drift across and then maybe get some still images out of that. While at the same time, I may be taking photographs with another camera or just enjoying it with my family. So it's a fun thing. I thought it was very clever and I just wanted to record it. So check it out. I hope you enjoy it. If you, uh, if you want to, subscribe to this channel. Cool. If not, whatever. I hope you use the drift method and I hope you enjoy the eclipse. Thanks. So this is a way to video the eclipse, and, and I call it the drift method. So what you need to do is practice outside with your video cameras at its maximum optical zoom. If your optical zoom is not real powerful, you might have to buy a 2x converter to get a little bit more optical zoom. And what you want to do is time the sun right now, before eclipse day, with the solar filter on, and time how long it takes to get from the left side of your LCD screen to the right side of your LCD screen. Oh, so you practice right now. You practice right now. Because the Earth's rotation is going to take the sun from the left side of your LCD screen to the right side of the LCD screen. And then what you do is you increase the zoom level to a point where this will take seven minutes. So on the day of the eclipse, you don't have to track the eclipse. You let it just drift through your field of view. And the only thing you have to do is pop off the solar filter. That's cool. So you start two minutes before totality. You start your camera recording. You pop your solar filter about 20 minutes before C2. Let the eclipse drift across the screen put your solar filter back on at C3 and get another two minutes. So have, this have is- Have you recorded it, one like this? Yes. Really? In Africa, the first time. HD? No, they didn't have HD back then. So you're excited about that? Absolutely, this can get great video and people can pull off Bailey's beads and the diamond ring without having to worry about doing high-tech photography. And it's set and forget. You start it two minutes before, you enjoy the eclipse, you let it drift across your screen, and then the great thing about this is getting the audio of the crowd. Yeah. Everybody should video an eclipse to get the a reaction of the crowd around you. So so what you do is you can you go back one slide please? Sure. So you created this film. Right, what you do, you don't want to ruin your camera. So you cut a piece of transparency plastic and you draw the lines across it in the center of the LCD screen with a metallic Sharpie. Got it. And the day of the eclipse, you start your sun over here within this band and you just let it go across the eclipse. Now the tricky thing is, this in this country, a lot of the eclipse is going to be completely horizontal, so you can set your video camera up horizontal. But in Oregon, on the east coast, it's going to be a rising eclipse, so you have to pitch your camera and make this horizontal line fit the, the track of the sun. Uh -huh. And on the east coast, it's going to be a setting eclipse, so you have to pitch your camera the other way and just keep the track of the sun within these two horizontal lines. And you only need seven minutes. You need two minutes before totality, two minutes and 40 seconds if you're at max eclipse for totality to drift, yeah. and two minutes after to get the audio. So you could have a, like, th this video that I'm recording on right now is a, a 4K HD video. So you could, you could record on this camera and then just have it drift across the side like the, uh, I'm gonna steal your thing real quick. So if, if you could do it like this, and you could have it drift across the viewfinder here, like that, then, then it'll work. So you just put that screen on here, have it drift from one side Correct. to the other, right. and it'll work. That's right, and you can do this ahead of time. You can have this taped on your camera 
as you travel to the eclipse. It'll all be set up. You practice now, and the, the day of your eclipse, all, all, the only thing you need to do is line up the camera either ascending or descending, depending on if you're on the west coast or the east coast. Just get it lined up with the sun. Just and you're let good it at... follow those bars. And it's easy to have the sun follow the bars for seven minutes. So you need to practice at the time that the eclipse is going to be at your location so that you understand if it's rising or falling. Correct. Maybe a couple days ahead of time and you can yeah. get yeah. the beat. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So I need to buy a solar, a solar filter for this camera I'm, I'm recording you on right now. If you want to do wide angle photography. Yeah. Well, if I want to do the drift method, this is a video camera as well. So if I want to do the drift method, what, what kind of solar filter would you recommend I get for this camera? A metalized glass solar filter. Yeah. And remember, you want to zoom in and test this, set up during the day, and test what zoom you need to have this be seven minutes. Really? That's the trick. That's the trick. That's what you need to do to prepare ahead of time. Because you want to have the biggest images you can. But if you make this too big, it will drift across the field of view of your LCD screen in a minute and a half, and then you'll miss it. Why seven minutes? So if it's two minutes before, two minutes and 40 seconds for the, the uh, total eclipse, and two minutes after. So if I am at a place where the totality is only a minute and a half, you could do it a little less. Okay, so I could do five minutes, and I could zoom in and get a, a little a bit closer more. That's exactly image. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah. I don't think your millimeters of focal length difference would make that much difference. The point is, you want to be done with this two minutes per, before totality. You don't want to be thinking about turning on your video camera 45 seconds before totality. You just want to get it over with. Let that just run in the background. You only have to do three things with this method. Pull your solar filter off. During totality, you'll have to make one little adjustment of the exposure. You'll probably have to bump it up a bit and then put your solar filter back on. Really? Gotcha. So you only want to adjust exposure and you do that right at mid the midpoint? That's exactly right. The same instructions are for this method as for regular photography. You want to use manual focus, focus on infinity, and you want to use you want to have a camera with manual exposure. You don't want to use autofocus and you don't want to use auto exposure. That's pretty smart. This is gonna work, isn't it? Okay, that is the drift method for recording a total eclipse, right? Correct. The drift method to video it. And with 4K cameras like this one, we can pull stills off of it and you can print stuff out like that and Absolutely. put it in your house. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about high-tech photography. Smart. Very smart. All right. That's it. Getting smarter every day. This is Dr. Gordon Telephone. What's your website so people know? www.solareclipsetimer.com Solareclipsetimer.com. That's where you can get the contact times for the eclipse. That was a good video. I enjoyed that.